Welcome back to a new episode of Style Analysis. I am Mia from The Glam Factor and in today's episode we are going to analyze the style of da -da -da! Queen Letizia of Spain. I now have a separate playlist from the Style Analysis, the Royal Edition. You will find it linked somewhere in here in case you want to binge watch it after this video. I am Mia from The Glam Factor and if you're new to my channel I make videos all about glamour and femininity. So subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss any glamorous content. So who is Queen Letizia? Queen Letizia is the Queen of Spain. She married into royalty and before she became the Queen of Spain she was actually a news anchor for the Spanish TV. So she was already well known in Spain before becoming the Queen. And by the way, the King of Spain, or back then probably the Prince, he fell in love looking at her in the news and just wanted to meet her. So let's analyze the style. Colors. If we analyze the colors Queen Letizia wears, we immediately see her wearing a lot of red. I got inspired by her today. So she definitely wears a lot of red combined with other colors, but also outfits completely red from head to toe. For example, red blazers, red skirts. She definitely has a thing for red and really suits her because she has a very warm skin tone. Also, she has very warm brown hair and also brown eyes. So it definitely fits to her complexion. She definitely looks gorgeous in red and she totally goes all in with red. So even if she combines outfits, she has a lot of red going on in her wardrobe. This is like her main color, I would say. Sometimes she tends to do more burgundy, deep red or darker red, but she also goes for completely bright orangey red. So she really varies with the shade of red. But in total, she sticks with red, with warm colors, with red being one of her favorite. As you might see, her, most of the pictures she's wearing something red. Also for shoes and accessories, she is red from head to toe, with jackets, with coats. She definitely has a thing and it really suits her. She really stands out with that because in politicians you see her surrounded by people who wear a lot of black, a lot of navy and she is like the pop of color in the room. Sometimes she also goes for pink like you can see in here. It also really suits her because it's also a very warm tone. It's a little bit more brighter, a little bit more fresher I would say. With pink she also takes a bit of a cooler pink tone like you can see in here with this dress with patterns. I prefer her wearing the warmer shades because I think it suits her skin color a little bit better. She looks a little bit fresher in that. But I also like pink, so... And I mean, it would be boring just wearing one color, so definitely you have to have some variety. And it's nice that she varies a bit. Also here you can see her wearing a very soft pink tone, like in here, like this baby pink, like this very soft tone of pink in, um, what is it, like a coat, something like that, also in a blazer. Also she goes for purple, but in general she tries to stick with very warm tones. She doesn't go that much in blue or green, sometimes she does green, but most of the time she sticks with very warm tones patterns. Also, when we take a look at her colors, she chooses a lot of bold patterns, like you can see in here, where it's like all over with colorful bold patterns. Definitely a lot of flowers, a lot of colors, colors and colors, so she's definitely very, very... S so she definitely does a statement here. So she really has a thing for either red colors or warm tones or sheer statement colors. Sometimes also with red, like you can see soon. So she really has a very bold choice when it comes to patterns. She's not boring with that, not a thing at all. She either chooses bold things, colorful things, with flowers, also very feminine. 
the way you can see she combines the whole dresses and skirts with a lot of florally details which really gives her very feminine appearance so if you want to become bold but feminine definitely choose something like that choose very feminine colors light colors warm colors but also a lot of florally patterns and those kind of things she really combines it very often with flowers with red sometimes also with glittery things and statement things she also sometimes wears black and white most of the time the black and white is in one outfit so either she has something so if she for example wears something all white she has a black bag or the other way around or she has like a dress and polka dots something like that so she she wears also a lot of polka dots like you see in here cuts if we take a look at the cuts queen letizia of spain wears she wears a lot of a-line skirts or a-line dresses which are very very flowy you can see here they are nice soft flowy and most of the time longer so most of the time they are midi like covering her ankle or almost floor length but we can still see her shoes so you can see here most of the time they also cinch in in the waist which gives her a nice hourglass shape as you can see here a perfect example of that definitely most of the time longer she varies a lot with dresses or skirts not so much trousers so you mostly see her with dresses flowy dresses very flowy skirts and she always tries to cinch in the waist which is a very nice trick for creating a very nice feminine shape so definitely try that if you want to be more feminine by the way i also have a video i will link here on how to look very feminine so check it out if you like some more fashion tips sometimes she also goes a bit shorter with her dresses or with her hemlines but they are like barely covering the knees most of the time she has to also wear longer skirts you s you actually see a lot of royals wearing longer things because it is more appropriate it wouldn't be so appropriate for her to wear like mini skirts and stuff like that although she has a few things where she wears a bit of a shorter things but most of the time she's dressed in longer things very appropriately and most of the time very flowy or basically she has two things either flowy and a-line or very straight so if she wears something very straight then it's a bit shorter than the flowy style as you can see here it like rarely covers her knees but it's still an hourglass shape so she really tries to have her curves nicely also she often wears a very high neck so no deep decolletages everything very nicely covered sometimes she covers her shoulders sometimes not she is more relaxed with that if you want to see a more modest approach then definitely check out queen rania of jordan queen letizia of spain is a bit more relaxed so you can see her openly um, wearing her shoulders and having some but still she has some high neck so it's never like too revealing or anything but she doesn't tend to cover her shoulders very often which is also very refreshing shoes as for her shoes you might see her wearing a lot of statement shoes as you can see here those black strappy shoes are really statementy in general if you see a lot of politicians they most of the time only wear like very classic shoes not so much queen letizia for example here you see very statement shoe very much statement shoes okay here you have a classic but in general she's totally bold on it she goes wild with shoes which is really amazing because most of the time in style analysis you see a lot of classic shoes a lot of well shoes that are well very classic and elegant but sometimes it's nice to have some some spice to it something more bolder something more statementy something that's more fun in my opinion fashion has to be a bit fun and shouldn't be all about staple things and 
neutral tones. I like it to be a bit bolder sometimes. And Queen Letizia is the perfect example for that. A lot of colors, a lot of crazy things, a lot of different silhouettes. But then she also has her very classic shoes. So she varies definitely from time to time with it. Most of the time, if she has like very classic functions, so you see her meeting other politicians, then she sticks to very classic shoes. But other than that, she goes wild and in other functions, she has crazy statement shoes with different colors and bold colors, bold patterns. Here you see her wearing a very mini mini skirt, which is nice seeing a politician bending the rules a bit. Bags. She has a thing for tiny little clutches, like you can see here. Most of the time in her signature color red. They are very simple, very neutral, nicely, but not too much. They don't have any handles or anything, so she holds them. As you can see here also, she wears some black clutches. They are very color coordinated with her outfits. So it really depends on her outfit, which color of the clutch she uses. But most of the time it's like a black, white, red, those kinds of things. Definitely red comes back a lot and, and she definitely sticks with the same style of clutches. So they are very long, very nice and she holds them. She doesn't use any straps, which she uses. She always tends to hold them in her hands, like you can see here two ladies. One is holding them at the strap and Queen Letizia is um, clutching it. Okay, I reverse everything. She also uses bags with, with handles, as you can see here. But this is not a rule. Most of the time she uses normal clutches without handles. Perfect example, as you can see in here, she uses the clutch, which she holds. She has a nice flowy A-line dress in a very florally pattern statement shoes, which are, I think it's gold, if I don't mistaken, something like that, and straps and everything, so it's very statementy. You can see another outfit in here where she wears something white with also statement shoes. But then she can also be very classic, elegant, with a white simple dress and a white clutch. I also like this picture, she looks so, so elegant. Accessories. When it comes to accessories, Queen Letizia wears a lot of tiaras. As, of course, a queen, she has to wear them, probably, but she really goes all in. You see her wearing them a lot to functions. I don't know if the House of Spain has so many functions, I don't know, but I don't see anybody else of royalty wearing that many tiaras or crowns. If you want to take a look at the other episodes of a royal edition of Style Analysis, Queen Letizia definitely wears the most tiaras of all of them, which I envy. I also want to wear those tiaras. She also has those... I don't know how to call them, like not hats, but like headgear with like flowers and stuff like that. So she also wears quite a lot of those. Other than that, she really wears a lot of statement earrings. They are bold, they are nice, they are crystally and shiny. She doesn't wear so many necklaces, but definitely bracelets or statement earrings, one of those. Look at her abs, she is really well trained. She also has some sunglasses, but I don't see her wearing them very often. But statement earrings are definitely a thing. As you can see here, no necklaces, but statement earrings, golden, shiny ones. They are very, very nice on her. With bracelets, sometimes she wears them, sometimes not. But to almost every function, she has something nice, sparkly in, on her ears. Very often, they are sparkly earrings. So not only gold or silver, but something sparkly, something shiny and nice very glamorous, appropriate for a queen. Hair. If we take a look at her hairstyle, they are most of the time very simple. She wears them short for nighttime or for functions. She always has like a nice updo, like you can see in here. 
but for politicians, for functions like that in daytime, she keeps them very nice, simple and straight. You can see her having highlights in here, so she has like a dark brown ha hair color, but she does very simple and subtle highlights that are more blondish or light brown, that gives her a little bit of movement, like makes her hair very shiny, just a very nice... Here you can also see one nice updo she wears. Most of the time her updos are very sleek, very nice, very shiny. But also for daytime she doesn't curl them too much, too crazy. She has most of the time very simple straight hair, shoulder length, a little bit longer, but nothing too crazy, nothing too much. She has nice volume, probably she rolls them if she has more volume or she keeps them very sleek and simple makeup. She goes heavy on the makeup. As you can see here, her eyes are very nicely made up with eyeliner, eyeshadow, everything that belongs. The rest is also very nicely made up, but she uses a lot. So a lot of rouge, a lot of things like brownish, how to call it? You probably know what I mean, like brownish power, sun bronzer bronzer so thank you and some highlighters so her, her skin looks nicely and fresh she's not so bold with her lips she keeps a nice balance to it so she has like a sheer or a sheer or like a simple nude tone nothing too bold no red color but she still has something on her lips nails her nails are always simple she uses like I think it's like a nude tone or sheer tone. She's never too crazy with her nails. As you can see in here, she's very nice, very elegant, nothing too crazy, no red like I have today. Members of royal houses are very often wearing nude tones on her nails. If you want to have a perfect example for bold colors nails, then check out Amal Clooney. I, I really love the style analysis of her, so I will link it, of course, somewhere in there. So let's have a little recap. As colors, she often tends for warmer tones, very often red, pink, but also black and white. For cuts, she either sticks to very straight lines or nice flowy A-line dresses that are a little bit longer, like I would say midi. Shoes, she goes bold, she has a lot of statement shoes. Bags, she has a lot of clutches, most of the time in red, and very simple classes, clutches with no handles. Accessories, she also, of course, has the ti tiaras, tiaras, the crowns, you know, appropriate for queens. And she wears a lot of statement earrings. Makeup, she's very bold. She has nice straight hair and she keeps her nails simple. If you enjoyed the style analysis, I also have a newsletter all about style analysis and, and fashion icons. So check it out if you like. The link is in my description box. Little note, never open links in the comments. So if somebody comments it, it's with a link it's never me i will never comment it with a link it's always only in my des description box because this is very common on youtube right now where the creator is not the creator who's responding but some cyber criminal and he's just copying the picture and the name and replying to comments and trying to give them a link or something like that so if you see that never believe that Every link I post only in the description box. I will never reply on comments with any links or numbers or anything else. So never click on any links in the comments or don't give out any phone numbers or like something like that. But the link is in the description box. So if you want to have some glamour in your inbox, subscribe to it. And if you want to see more of a style analysis, I will of course link it somewhere here. I have a whole playlist in that. And if you want to have more fashion tips, I will also link a playlist in here. So stay chic and I will see you in the next video. Bye!